Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you've never seen my face before, hi, hello, my name is Joanne and I'm really glad that you're here. Okay, today's video is our second installment of the Stick Picks My Makeup series. Yeah. <laughs> the original content creator for this series idea is mg.mua on TikTok. I will leave her TikTok, her Instagram, and her YouTube channel linked down below in my description so you can go check her out. So if you did not catch my first episode, this is a series where I put all of my eyeshadows and all of my lip products into these little containers. And once a week, I'm going to be picking a stick and it's going to tell me what palette to use and what lipstick to use. So who the heck knows what's going to happen? <laughs> As of right now, I have 87 eyeshadow palettes and I have 51 lip products. <sighs> okay. So if you're excited to see what sticks I pick today, as well as see the look I come up with, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into the video. Okay, let's do our eyeshadow palette first. Okay. We are going to be using the BH Cosmetics Chillin' in Chicago palette, which is brand new to my collection. They're all new to my collection. What am I talking about? And for lips, L'Oreal Be Rebellious. For some reason, I just know that that is a red lipstick. I really need to... organize my lipsticks better. <laughs> okay, so L'Oreal Be Rebellious is this beautiful purple shade. Okay, and we are going to be pairing that with the BH Chillin' in Chicago palette, which is all neutral, so this will be so easy. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and leave my eyes unprimed for this look. I don't feel like priming. <laughs> That lazy. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Mm, good luck getting this one off. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's looking like we could go a couple of different ways with the Chilling in Chicago palette. So it's a very mauve but also very brown neutral. But my heart is telling me to go mauve, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to start off with a shade called Chicago Dog, which is the lightest pink shade. all over my lid. Pretty. I like this big fat deluxe crease brush for packing on the pigment at first, like the very light color because it's really quick and it gives you a nice uniform look to your eye. I'm just stamping it on. I'm going to deepen things up with Wrigleyville, which is the nice purple mauve shade. That nice light shade went on really nicely. That didn't make any sense. That last shade I used went on very nicely. I'm just deepening out my outer corner with this shade. I really wanna take the shade called Rush Street, which is this pinky mauve shade right here. Add that to my lid. I'm gonna lighten things up on the outer corner with the, I'm, I'm sorry, with on the creasy area with Deep Dish. We're just gonna start buffing that around. Sky deck on the outer corner. That's deepening up nicely. It's not getting patchy or anything, it's just kinda packing on very nicely. I can appreciate that. Okay, I want this look to be very like that. So I'm taking a wipe and I'm just going to 
carve out my wing like that. I want to go in with Magnificent on the lid shade for my sparkle shade. Wow. That is Magnificent. Very pretty. It's purple in the pan, but once you dig into it and add it to the lid, it turns more of a red shade. That's really pretty. I did not expect that. Pretty. Really, really pretty. I thought I was going a purple route for the purple lip, but it turned into a pink look, so I'm just gonna run with it, I guess. On a small pencil brush, I'm going in with Grizzly with the darker brown shade in the palette along my lower lash line. I have so many palettes for one person. I am so glad that I found this TikToker who showed me how I can make it through all of my palettes because I was getting so overwhelmed by how many palettes I had and how little time and ingenuity I had to use them all. I mean, you can really only think of like so many creative concepts with palettes, you know? Taking the lighter shade called Windy City on the inner portion of my eye. I think we used quite a few shades in this palette, actually. That's nice. I'm just taking a, I don't even know what this is called. This is from Give Me Glow, an L15 brush. It's got this very interesting, like, triangular shape. I don't know how you can best see that, but I'm just going to blend out my bottom lash line. Smoking it out, making it not seem so harsh. Okay. I am having quite a bit of fallout on my cheeks here. I'm going to take a very fluffy brush with nothing on it and I'm just going to smoke out the top. It's a little too harsh for my liking, so I'm going to smoke it out to nothing, basically. Windshield wiper motions. I'm going to take Lake View just on the inner corner. Boop. Give it a little boop. Okay. There is the very pretty little pinky mauve moment using the Chillin' in Chicago palette. And next, the sticks picked the Be Rebellious shade. Ooh, I don't really like this formula. It's like a stain, but it's also a cream and it's sticky. I really like the applicator though. I mean, it's very angled and pointy, so it's really good to kind of line your lips too. And if you mess up, there's no going back. None. Okay, I added a little bit of gloss from Essence to kind of help with my edges and make it seem a little bit more plumpy and not so patchy and weird. Mm, I don't know about this one. Okay, here is the final look using my stick picks for this week. What do you think? I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and today's look. Please give me a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.